How to Breed Rabbits Part 1 Preparing to Breed Rabbits 1. Decide why you want to breed rabbits. Breeding rabbits is a huge responsibility that takes time, commitment, and patience. Before you begin breeding rabbits, decide why you want to do this. Are you planning on selling them? Do you want them as pets? Are you breeding them for meat? Decide if this is something you truly want to commit to doing. If you don't have the time, think you will get tired of it, or eventually want to send the rabbits to a shelter, rethink your plans. Rabbits are the third most common animal in shelters, after dogs and cats. Other rabbits get released into the wild, where they die from predators, lack of care, or starvation. Only a small percentage of rabbits at pet stores find safe, loving owners. They may be sold to inexperienced owners who may accidentally kill them. Breeding rabbits won't turn a significant profit. Plus, there isn't a high demand for rabbits, especially as pets, because there are already so many pet rabbits trying to be sold. 2. Research available rabbit breeds. There are a wide variety of rabbit breeds available to home breeders. Before you choose a rabbit just because it is cute, be sure that it will fulfill your needs. Here is some basic information about several common rabbit breeds, but this list is by no means exhaustive. American, the American rabbit breed is a large sized breed that is a good meat and fur breed. It is typically 9 to 12 pounds, a hardy breed, and they produce large litters. Angora, there are several types of Angora rabbits, including English, French, Giant, and Satin. These rabbits are typically bred for their wool. The wool is hand spun into yarn, which is knitted into lightweight and soft garments. Because of the nature of Angora coats, this breed needs a lot of grooming, usually once or twice a week. Flemish Giant, Flemish Giant rabbits are the largest breed of rabbits. They can weigh up to 22 pounds. They come in seven colors, from black through white. Flemish giants were originally bred for meat and fur, but are now largely bred for show or as pets, as they are expensive to feed and have a very pleasant docile nature. Himalayan, the Himalayan rabbit is a small, white breed that is used in laboratories and bred for show. Due to its small size, it is relatively cheap to feed and raise. Chinchilla, the chinchilla rabbit breeds are typically bred for their fur but also make excellent pets. They are medium sized, from 9 to 12 pounds, and have docile and curious personalities. Above all, however, their fur is their winning feature, as it is exceedingly soft and enjoyable to pet. 3. Choose the right rabbits to breed. The breed you choose might depend on availability, price, and preference. What you plan on doing with the rabbits also determines which breeds you choose. Some people want to sell and show the rabbits, while others want to keep them as pets, and others breed for meat. If you want to sell or show the rabbits, make sure to mate rabbits of the same breed. If you are planning to sell the rabbits, mixed breeds have little value. Mixing the breeds when you mate the rabbits also lessens the quality of the stock. A rabbit can't be considered pedigree if there is mixed breed blood. If you want the rabbits for meat or genetic experimentation, you can mix the breeds of rabbits. Never breed full siblings. You can breed half siblings, father daughters, mother sons, cousins, and so on. Unless you have a lot of knowledge about genetics and inbreeding, try not to breed pairs that are too closely related. 4. Breed your rabbits at the proper age. You want to start breeding does, female rabbits, when they are reaching maturity. For small medium breeds, they can be bred at 6 to 7 months old. Larger breeds can be bred at 8 to 9 months. Bucks, male rabbits, are usually ready around 6 months old if a small breed, 7 months if medium, and 9 months for a large breed. 5. Ensure that you will have homes for the kids, babies, before you breed. Check that you will have spare hutches for when the kids are weaned, and that you will be able to afford the costs of breeding. Decide what you are going to do with the kids when they have been weaned. 
Male and female kids must be separated when they are 8 weeks old. By 10 weeks old for bucks and 3 to 4 months old for does, rabbits need their own private cage. You must have enough cages for these animals in case you don't sell them. If you overcrowd young kids, they could fight and injure each other, or live in poor conditions that will affect their health. You also should have a large, safe enclosed garden for the rabbits. If you plan on selling the rabbits, try to talk to friends, other breeders, or advertise so that you can line up potential customers ahead of time. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. See you soon in our next upcoming video.